The world is willing to spend billions of dollars to rebuild the Gaza Strip, even though Hamas started this summer's war with Israel. The head of the UN visited both sides this week, condemning Israel and calling for peace talks to resume. As Julie Stahl reports, some international Christian parliamentarians say he's got it all wrong. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon took a first-hand look at Hamas tunnels that intended terror attacks on Israeli communities. I was uh, shocked and alarmed by this underground tunnel, which had been used for pen penetration for terrorist uh, purpose. I have been repeatedly uh, condemning uh, this rocket attacks by Hamas from the air. Ban made his comments in the Israeli kibbutz Nirim, where he met with the family of Daniel Turgeman. A Hamas mortar attack launched from a UN school killed the four-year-old. We told the Secretary General that Daniel was killed in his home by a mortar bomb that was fired from his school. Um, in that school were staying at the time refugees um, that Hamas was willingly putting in danger while firing from them, from there, to civilian targets. Daniel's aunt, Maya Turgeman, told CBN News the UN must do what it's meant to do. That is protect human rights. And protecting human rights means standing and saying that Hamas is a terrorist organization, not looking for peace, that they target civilians. During a visit to Gaza, Ban condemned Israel for striking UN properties during the summer conflict. He mentioned the UN investigation of Israel, but didn't say anything about investigating Hamas. In Jerusalem, Christian members of the International Israel Allies Caucus called for the UN to act. The conflict, the rockets, the barrage, the total disregard for human rights on either side of the border that Hamas represents, rightly labeled a terrorist organization in our view, you cannot negotiate with people who embrace terrorism as an end to their means. That call came a day after British lawmakers voted to recognize a Palestinian state. The move doesn't change foreign policy, but provides symbolic support to the Palestinian push for statehood. I'm very angry uh, about it. For it's, it's absolutely not helpful what's now going on in, uh, in, in different parliaments of, uh, of Europe. For it's, uh, it's, it's saying to the Palestinians, violence is the good way. It's, it's, it's helping the, the jihadists. I saw it among Latin America already. They have been a lot of countries who recognize the Palestinian Authority, and now, one year later, two years later, they have been having a lot of trouble in their countries, and they uh, want now to, to reverse their decisions. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.